All right, guys, so recently I went and filmed some videos with David Ledbetter, one of the all-time great golf coaches. He's coached many of the best players in the world, including Ernie Els, famously with Nick Faldo. He coached Nick Price, lots of the best golfers in the world. And I was fortunate enough to film a couple of videos with him, and he was showing me his new training aid, the straightaway, and also showing me some really cool ways and drills to start the swing correctly that I wanna show you in today's video. There's really uh, one or two key concepts that you must do to get the swing started correctly to put in and use with or without this training aid, whether you have it or not, um, that I wanna show you a couple of really cool, cool drills in there. So the straightaway, if you didn't see the video the other day, we are doing a deal with them with the straightaway. I really, really like it. You've got until um, April 10th at midnight to get the deal. You get a little discount, get all the bonus videos. That link will be down below. But one of the key things with this, and I purposely didn't use this before I went to see David, because I wanted to have like a real raw, live reaction to what he was telling me. And it was pretty darn cool. And he was showing me some things he's worked with some of these famous players um, with, and, and two of the pieces in particular. But the main thing he told me, and this is the key takeaway from here, because I had this in here and I kept just going like this. I kept just basically taking my arms and hands and getting the club in this right spot. And he, in his accent that I won't try and do, was kind of like, no, no, Eric, the arms and club should transport themselves in this start of the swing because of the body motion. He said the body motion is the thing that gets you started, that gets this club on plane where the straightaways down the stick on the ground and the club's beautifully on plane. I'm not trying to take my arms and hands, just force them there. And he said a lot of amateur golfers, most amateur golfers who struggle with issues in their swing during the downswing or at impact actually have root issues that happen much earlier when they start the swing that they're constantly trying to make up for. And I found the same exact thing. And I asked him, I said, David, when you're looking at players who have poor takeaways and they start the swing incorrectly, what percentage of those happen because they don't actually use their body correctly? And he looked at me and he said, almost 100%, which I thought was pretty funny, right? And I was kind of hoping he would say, because I see the same exact thing. Almost always, when we start the swing incorrectly, it's because we didn't get our body leading the way. The arms and hands led the way and either had the roll inside, off plane, or they sort of shove outside. Both of which we're gonna get some reactions to at some point later on in the swing that make it more difficult. So he said, Eric, there's two really cool uh, key things on how you use your body. We've gotta be able to turn, which I'm gonna give you a drill for and a feel in a moment, and we've gotta be able to tilt. And the combination of the turning and tilting with these drills is the piece that gets us started correctly moving back. Let me show you those two drills he showed me. Okay, so the first thing that he gave me was a little like medicine ball. I don't have today, he said we can use a bucket to do the same thing to show you, but imagine you've got sort of like a medicine or weighted ball. So he had me stand there with the ball in front, kind of holding with both hands like this and said, okay, if I were to make a motion where I were to feel like I'm gonna to toss this ball back and I'd like you to kind of do this motion with me. He said, what do you feel is going on if I move this bucket from my setup position till about kind of hip high or halfway back? And I said, gosh, I feel two things really. I feel a lot more core than I normally would when I'm swinging. And I also feel a little bit of like an oblique crunch of my lead side. And do that with me and see what you feel. That's what I feel. And he said, yeah, that's exactly what we're looking for to start the swing correctly. That's what good players do to let the club take care of itself. The straightaway is just a visual to confirm that the club's moving correctly, but the actual engine of it is the body motion. Because I said, me normally, I'd go like this. Right? I'd be tossing the thing back with, with no body motion, but instead it's here. He said, that's the turning component. That's piece number one. But he also combined that with a cool tilting drill I wanna show you next. So once you get a feel for the turning, the tilting he showed me, he said, take your normal setup and put your hands kind of down your legs like this. They can be on the side or in the front. He said, as you're feeling like you're turning back, there should be some amount of tilting, right? Tilting meaning like my left knee is gonna end up lower than my right knee. My left hip should be a little lower than my right hip. And my left shoulder should be a little lower than my right shoulder. If we watch all those good takeaways in the B-roll, I put a line on their shoulder, you notice a big thing that gets them to get the club on plane is their shoulders actually going below 
that line, right? All of them, all those pros, the shoulders going down slightly, tilting, which helps keep the club on play. And so he said, okay, put your hands on your legs here. Kind of feel that turn. Okay, I'm like, okay, I kind of get that. How do I feel the tilt? I feel this, my left hand goes down by my left kneecap and my right hand kind of gets up by my right pocket. So I feel like I'm stretching out that right side as I'm tilting that left side. He said, yeah, that's the motion there, right? I'm combining the feels of the turn and the tilt. This is what good players do. Um, this is me feeling the turning, lots of core motion. And then I'm taking that same feel and I'm saying, okay, let me get this tilt going along with it. And when I did those motions, and you can do this as well, and I have the straightaway on here, we have this alignment rod down the toe line. And that's what you wanna reference for this little arrow here. When I feel those body motions, the club gets to that spot. Like if I don't manipulate the club at all, it gets there from those body motions. If I don't have those, I'm always gonna manipulate where the club goes off plane. Can I make up for that and hit a ball well? Certainly. But is that more difficult? Absolutely. Do all good players get the club here in the takeaway? No. Do a whole heck of a lot and the greater majority? Yeah, right? Probably 80, 90%. We'll put some of those pictures on here so you can see. Which just seems logical, right? We wanna start the swing correctly to make it easier later on. And similar like this with this, with this straightaway, right? Do you need this on here to do these motions correctly? Definitely not. Can you make a little DIY at home? Absolutely. But I think the deal you get for it is so good. I think it's super effective. So I recommend it. I'm gonna put that link, link down below. So as I'm feeling this core turning and a little bit of tilting, you watch those players, their stomach or belly button turns away from the ball as the lead shoulder goes down some. The club, if we were to draw a line up the shaft at setup, rides right up that line. Now he had me doing this only till my hands about my right thigh, so that's what, about a foot. But notice the club stays right on li line, right? Li right on the shaft plane line like the pros. Notice the club face for me and the pros stays pointed at the ball. Most players I see get the club rolled in, me included sometimes. Club's under plane and the face is open. Here's where we want it to be early. Boom, right to there. So I'm feeling that body turning, belly button turning, little bit of left shoulder down, club's on plane, club face stays right at the ball like that. He said, Ernie Ell said to him, you know, if you asked him, how does he start the swing? He said, belly button turn, right? A little bit of a core turn. So I'm not setting my hands here, right? I'm getting the club here, boom. Now, once we hit some balls with that, right? And we're going, we're getting the club in the right position. I said, okay, the next logical thing I wanna know is what do we do for the rest of the way, right? <laughs> what do I do from here? He said, Eric, there's really two keys from here. Once I get it, here on plane. Ideally, you just swing, don't think, and the club goes you know, where you want. But from here, he said, now let's shift some focus into this red arrow. And you'll see this in the POV version. And the red arrow then should kind of go on like a 45 degree angle. So the club's beautifully on plane. The butt of the club points on or just inside the ball line. You can see the Tiger and Adam Scott, both of them really in that position on the way back. Nothing to make up for. So as I'm going here, I'm getting the club on plane and completing my turn, he said. So body motions turn and tilt to get the club started perfect. Now I'm gonna get the club on plane and complete my backswing. So Eric, only do and think about as much as you need to. If you can just get the body motions going, get the club on plane, use this to give you some visual feedback. We don't need to make it any more complicated. I got the red line right down the shaft. I'm getting the blue right over there. It just gives me such a good visual. Like I like that a lot. Let me go ahead and feel a little turn and tilt of the body. So I feel like when I'm doing that, which just shot trace to that one, nice little high draw. I feel like when I'm doing that, it feels like more core, right? More core for me early than normal. I feel a little bit of a left side oblique, like a little bit of a crunch. The club feels like it's much more kind of staying outside. Now, again, I'm not doing this all the way to hip high. This is just like for a foot. The club feels a little more outside for me than normal. And the face definitely feels more at the ball. Like I'm not rolling it as much as I normally would. So right into there, good turn, good tilt. And from there to the top, that was really good too. From there to the top, I'm, I'm basically just feeling like I'm completing my turn. But when I'm practicing looking on video, 
the past couple weeks I've been using this. If you haven't seen the video the other day, you know, I went and tried this with David, liked it. And then I spent the past like three to four weeks, maybe three weeks, using it in my own swing and testing it with different students. And I feel the takeaway for sure. But I also feel, these are really nice. I also feel, you know, completing the backswing turn from there to the top and just a little bit, kind of going from here, feeling a little bit of depth, making sure this red line's on like a 45. So that, again, like the Adam Scott and Tiger, the butt of the club's inside the baseline. My issue is I go here and flat. So for me, it feels a little bit, a little bit more vertical as I keep turning. But turn and tilt to here, let's do one more. That's really the feel that I'm here. And for these right now, I'm not really thinking any downswing pieces. But it turns out as I was practicing, those are all really good. It turns out as I was practicing, like before I left with him, he said, hey, actually, you know, for me who gets under plane, he's like, you can also use this reference for the downswing to get this thing back on the shaft plane. And as I've been practicing, that ends up working really, really well for me. So in the next video we do in a couple of days from now, you guys are gonna see that. I'm gonna show you how you can also use this with a little V drill to get the club nicely on plane during the, the downswing. But anyway, obviously we did the review. If you guys didn't see that, you wanna go watch that. Some more of the details, super easy to use. Again, the only cons being that there is some weight. I don't mind that. And it just gives you the visual. Um, but if you wanna get the deal, until April 10th, we'll put that down below. April 10th, Wednesday before the Masters at midnight. It's like 69 bucks. You get all kinds of bonus uh, training. David shows you how to use this with a putter, with chipping. He does some uh, live Q&A uh, Q with it. It's really good. Um, so we'll link that down below. Any questions, leave me a comment. And check out the next one, a couple days from now, I'm going to show you how you can also use this to get the club on plane during the downswing.